Hey everybody, this is Jamie with another video from Fishing Planet. Uh, this video here, I'm on Emerald Lake in the kayak. Uh, right now it's 5.16 a.m. and I'm just, I've got the popper on, so I'm just trying for some different pickerel. Try for a while for those and then I'll switch over and I'll try for some walleye. Uh, see uh, if they'll hit in the morning or not. I've been casting a little bit here. and. I'm on day two. I had a good first day and I just uh, fast forwarded it to the next day. So I got the popper on for some top water action. I like top water fishing. So uh, slowing in at the pace of one, there's a hit. And uh, you right click to tap to pop the popper. I've been casting over by those lilies and getting some pickerel. Decent one. 1 1.7, 119 dollars, 42 XP. So they produce quite well. So I'm just trying those for now. Trying to get different spots around those lilies. It's been producing quite well. So I just constantly reel in and right click. And I usually get two dots with the popping. I haven't gotten three yet, but they're hitting, so must be doing all right. In real life fishing, I really enjoy topwater fishing for pickerel or bass, so enjoying it on here as well. Bought the popper a little while ago, just getting used to it. Nothing this time. That's all right. We'll try out. Try out again and see. Let's sit there for a second. Oh, that was cool. Fish jumped right out of the water. Let's see if something will come up and take a peek at it now. I've been to Emerald Lake a few times now and just go in the kayak. You can hit different parts of the lake. You can only spawn at two spots there at the where those guys are straight ahead of me and over to the right. So I figured the kayak gets to some different water. So it's a thousand dollars to rent it for one day. I haven't bought one yet, so I might buy one. Nothing on that one, so we'll try over here just a little bit again. That might get caught up. Hopefully not. See if I can get something to come jump out of the weeds there. On day one, I was using a narrow spoon <clears throat> and had real good luck for a while catching some walleye. There's a hit. It's got some weight to it. Uh, they produce really good money and good XP, so... Uh, once I fish a little bit here, I'll try to switch over to the narrow spoon and see if I can hit some walleye. It's another good size chain pickerel. Try for a couple more and see if I can get a couple more. So again, the cast out lets it just for a second and then I just constantly reel and then right tap the right mouse button playing on the PC probably could stop and let it sit for a while but I've been having pretty good there's another oh, didn't hit but he came up Let's see if I'll come back This time it's all right I'll go back and try for him again sometimes they hit and sometimes they don't it's all right people come back I 
There's a hit. Small guy though, hardly registering at all. Could be a perch or something. I say that's a little perch maybe. Yeah, yellow perch. They need to eat too. We'll try again. See, nothing hits again. I was sitting here on day one and had uh, good luck hitting walleye right in front of me and then over to the left in the middle. Not sure how well they'll hit early in the morning here, but I'll try for another pick roll or two and then I'll switch over. There's something came up. Ah, it came up again. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> that was cool. Jumped right out of the water. That's fun to watch. Redfin. Let's try for one more. Uh, if you watch the video and you fish Emerald Lake and try different lures and baits, let me know what you use and I'd love to give them a try and see how I make out with them. Caught some young pike and I caught one regular size northern pike. I think I was using a three inch white grub. So I might try that again after two, maybe. That seems like a fish right there. We'll try one more cast. Try over here. And then we'll switch over to the narrow spoon, see if I can catch some walleye. There's a hit. Yeah, give me a little bit of a pull. That's good. Let the drag do its work. Seems like a good sized one. Me pretty good. If I get him in here, there he's coming. It's a good size one. Got the anchor down in the kayak. It's funny when you catch a good fish and the anchors are down, they'll pull you right across the lake. And he's pulling me right back out again. This is a good one. Hmm. Could maybe possibly be a unique pickerel, maybe. Jumping pretty good. Take me over to the side. There we go. Let's see what I got. Trophy train pickerel. Nice. Two hundred four dollars ninety eight XP. It's good. Okay, so let's switch over, and we're gonna try the narrow spoon, the gold color, and we'll see if anything's gonna hit. On day one when I was fishing I was having good luck I put it up to speed number two and uh, I was doing stop and go sort of near the bottom and having was good luck having good luck sorry um, was sort of mid-afternoon so I'm not sure if they'll hit early in the morning or not oh, there's a hit it's giving me a bit of a pull too Sort of skirting around like it could be a pickerel. Yeah. Try out there again, see if there's an, uh, any walleye.
I find this one fourth ounce narrow spoon, the gold color one, uh, works really well. Uh, Pickerel, walleye, uh, rocky lake, it's done, it does a real good job catching the different trout there. So I find it a really versatile lure to have. There's a hit right close to the kayak. Another pickerel. Early morning pickerel. See if something will hit again. If not, I'll try a couple casts out to the left there and see if something will hit out in the middle of the lake. And a couple times they have hit right close to the kayak too, so I still real do my stop and go as far as I can. Sometimes you will get that close hit to the boat. We'll try a couple over here just to see. Water's deeper over there, so it takes a little while longer for the lure to drop. Start it up and see. quiet on this retrieval so far, that's okay. Like I said the other day I was here, I used the three inch white grub, I think on a one fourth ounce jig head. And it produced pretty good. I used the jerk bait a little bit, a white orange one, and that, uh, that did all right. But like I said, the been having good luck with this narrow spoon, so we'll see. The walleye just might not hit early in the morning. I did fast forward time a little earlier, so I can't do it right now. So I was hitting some pickerel, so I thought I'd do a little video, so Quiet out. Oh, I was just going to say, it seems to be quiet out in the middle, and I just had to say those words and got a hit. A little bit of weight to this guy, too. Maybe a walleye, maybe. Yeah, there's a walleye. So that's a good size one, 3.1. $273, so they really produce well with money, and 93 XP for that one. So, there's a walleye. Let's see if there's another one hanging out there. It's fun in the kayak. I go uh, behind me, right to the end of the lake. There's some lilies. Uh, oh, there's another hit. Some lilies back there. Um, and then I work my way around the cattails and go around and hit some different fish along the cattails. And there's little inlets there that you can cast into and catch some different fish. I know by the dock where those guys are standing right across from me, when you fish over to the right, I think that area produces quite well too. But I like getting in the kayak and floating around. That's another nice fish here. Oh, don't lose them. This is another walleye. He's not coming up much, so I'd say it is. Give me a pretty good go. Hopefully it's over three pounds again. I'd say it's going to be. Oh, 
Oh, nice one. Personal record. So four hundred twenty-eight dollars, one hundred eighty-nine XP. So that's a roll of good producing fish. And I guess with that, maybe I'll end the video now on that good cast. So thanks for watching. Again, comment if you use any certain lures or baits on this lake, and I'd be happy to give them a try. Everyone take care. Thanks for watching.